Hey everybody, welcome to the show and welcome to the channel. Today is part seven of Marvel Midnight Suns and I hope you are just having a wonderful day as much as I am. I'm I'm here, I'm ready to play part part six for you and I I don't know where this game is gonna take me. Uh so far so so good with not being a predictable game with all the with all the gameplay in in the story mode. So I'm gonna get started here soon. Uh, if you if you like this chat, if you like what you see in the game, and you want to see more, you can always watch me here on on uh, um, YouTube. I I always post videos every. every day or every every other day trying to complete a playlist for you guys and uh, well well and when I'm not doing that I'm often streaming over on Twitch and and links to that page can be found below in the description um, box. Um, with that said, I, I hope you like, share, and subscribe to both of the channels. Um, feel free to come in and talk to me any time you, you want to, either via com comments in the chat, in the, in the chat section of YouTube or, or just the chat in in uh, in, in, tw in Twitch. I'll be more than happy to talk to you. Um, um, but for, and, oh, and as always, what so, subscribe and follow and sub to both channels please it, it, um now I'm gonna go ahead and get all quiet and and so you guys can enjoy the, the game but where I left off in in uh in uh Midnight Suns the last time I was going to the table to start a a new mission. I I completed the the trials of of the, that I that Aunt Agatha had me do and um so and I now I'm going back to back out there into the the through the portal again. Let's see where I am end up. Thank <laughs> you. 
did the map, it would actually be faster for me to fly. So what is stopping? Shockwave would shatter most of the glass. Ah, that is not good. We're sending you straight to the coordinates Captain Marvel identified in New York. Dr. Banner has confirmed that the gamma signatures in the area match the class's weapon. was right on the... Ah, heroes. A single world ending calamity is never enough to satiate your appetite for destruction. You insist on meddling further, forcing our hand yet again. That's just lonely. Faustus has a radio. I'm assuming whatever Hydra is attempting to flee with on that chopper is our target. I suggest we stop it and see for ourselves.
victory! As long as I get to hit you back. Looks like they want to try a few more. You don't even know what it is you're pursuing. The Gamma Disruptor you so narrowly escaped with in our last encounter was only the beginning. Show yourself to me, Faustus. I will open more than your eyes. Such ferocious spirit. You truly are your mother's child, Hunter. pompous buffoon to win today. Stop that chopper, please. With pleasure.
That's your strength.
Show yourself to me, Faustus, and I will open more than your eyes. Such ferocious spirit. You truly are your mother's child, Hunter. Today. Stop that chopper, please. 
With pleasure. Clean up the rest of Hydra's forces.
one way. Try something. Seem to be a match for us. of them. Last! <laughs> there are more heads to the Hydra than you will ever comprehend, heroes. This is a minor setback at most. Well, at least we don't have to listen to you any longer today. I consider that alone a victory. Well done. If Hydra wasn't paying attention before, they are now. Stay sharp.
the rising rings of... Oh, it's just you. It's almost a shame we have to waste your talents on Hydra, but I suppose if we don't dispose of them, no one will. In any case, impressive work, Hunter. I appreciate this time away from the forge. Despite Tony's complaints, a bit of soldering is far less effort than wrestling a demon into daily submission. I understand. Keeping that demon in check is tougher than the others can imagine. Mr. Reyes can imagine. He's the only one with an inkling of the malignant power within. If we cannot contain it, we must destroy it. Should I ever fall, Mr. Reyes and his spirit of vengeance will know what to do. Which is the lengthy way to say I should relax now and again to maintain vigilance. You often say it the lengthy way. I refuse to dignify that with a response. To do so would prove me incapable of brevity. Which is quite simply untrue. You are doing it on purpose, are you not? Allow me to rebuke your slander with a dozen refutations. Point the first. Stop. As you wish. I shall fondly await our next outing. Looking stronger than ever, kiddo. I'm glad to see you're getting comfortable with the words of power, Hunter. If you're going to continue our little investigation of the Abbey, they'll be vital to your success. Investigation? A side project, but a potentially transformative one. With my blessing, Wanda was working to uncover what may be the most powerful. Just what in the hell do you think you're doing in here? Standing in the library? I've given you free reign so you could get back on your feet. But I never thought you'd pull something like this. I... What is it you think I am doing, exactly? Don't be coy. It does not suit you. I told you how hard it's been since we lost Agatha. Instead of letting it rest, you decide to... reopen the wound? Oh, Sarah. I would never... I never thought of this place like that. Of course you didn't. And now, it's done. Why should I ever stand in your way? That anger wasn't meant for you, dear. You know that, right? Don't hold it against Sarah. She may try to mask her feelings, but you know she is struggling with what happened. Why are you hiding from her? For most people, the captivating relationships of their lives are formed over a matter of days and years. Sarah and I spent centuries together exploring this world, fighting the darkness, watching cities and even nations form and then crumble. And yet we persevered, together. You still have not answered my question. 
It may be difficult to understand, but she needs this time. Sending Wanda away, sealing the library, that elaborate memorial she conjured up. She didn't waste any time trying to bury what happened. You are right. I do not understand. It isn't up to me to reveal myself. It's up to her to accept what happened and allow herself to grieve. When that happens, we'll see each other again, but not before. I trust you will do what is right for Sarah. So, what is it you are looking at here? Yes, we should get back to the real reason I asked you to meet me here. Wanda's journal. The Abbey Grounds have a great deal of history. Many of its secrets remain hidden, even after all this time. Even to you? Even to me. Wanda had taken to exploring the grounds in search of a strange energy we both sensed. Knowing that Zara had no intention of waking you to investigate, Wanda felt it was up to her to take your place. Of course, being the clever girl that she is, her notes are written in an ancient, transient cipher that I've only just begun to understand. Have a look at the first entry. I'm sure it still seems a bit cryptic, but Wanda was definitely on to something. If you remember my altar, that's where she was conducting her experiments. An investigation that involves experiments. Why do I feel like you were going to get me into trouble? <laughs> Since when has that ever stopped you? Let's meet out at the altar. I'll try to do a better job of explaining from there. Charlie will show you the way if you've forgotten. Blessings of the Goddess. Like most things on the grounds here, there's more to this place than meets the eye. Do you remember the words I taught you as a child? Are you going to make me say it? Humor an old, dead woman. <sighs> Pocus, Pocus. Oh, you haven't lost your touch, dear. The words may be simple, but these plinths won't appear for just anyone. Each represents one of the basic elements, their power activated only by the elemental rods they would normally be holding. And where are the elemental rods now? Scattered to the wind, unfortunately. A side effect of Wanda's experiments here. Let me guess. That's right. I want you to find the missing rods and return them here. 
Hopefully, as I decipher Wanda's journal, her notes will aid in the search. But you have not actually told me what the greater purpose is here. What are we doing this for? All in good time, dear. After what happened with Wanda, I'd rather you take things slowly. In fact, I don't want you overthinking this little project. There's no rush and you don't have to help if you don't feel like it. But there is one more thing before I head back to the library. An arcane key? Just a little something. A token for your efforts so far. The key can be used to open that chest nearby. Like so many other oddities around here, those chests tend to appear before those who deserve them most. Make yourself that person. That seems intentionally vague. It's more fun that way, isn't it? I'll be in the library working on the translations if you need me, dear. Good luck. Charlie, find something? And Who is I'll, a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. I'll, I'll come back tomorrow for part seven of Marvel Midnight Sun. Sleep here. Can that really be you? Come closer. I want to get a better look at you. After all these years. It is good to see your face again. Wish I could say the same, Mother. Now enough with this deception and reveal your true form. But this is my true form. The way I was when you were just a sweet, helpless little baby. You don't remember that, do you? Well, I do. Bringing you into the world was the happiest time in my life. And taking you out of this world again will be mine. I had thought the words of power would open your eyes. But I should have known my sister and her pet witch would continue to withhold the truth from you. Uh. Is... is this a dream? Yes and no. We are connected, you and I, ever since the day you... Wait! Mother! Where did you... Uh. 
Is that really her? Like I said, I just wanted to finish that part and, and then be ready for tomorrow. So, thank you for coming. Don't forget to like, share, and sub to both channels. And I am, I will be back tomorrow for another installment in, in Marvel Sons. It will be part seven of my playthrough of Marvel Sons. So come back, <laughs> won't ya? Until tomorrow. Good night, everybody.